greetings and welcome back to Drew's office. Here is the magnificent spreadsheet that we'll be creating. When we enter the results for a round one match, the number of sets and the winner are automatically calculated. And when we click this updates button, the main table gets updated and the winner is added to the next round. On a separate worksheet, we have a list of players and each of these is converted as a table. Notice that both the male and female players are stored in the same table. And when we record the scores and the results for each match, the winner will automatically be added to the next table. We need to add our first drop-down list in this cell here. And we can type out the list separated by commas. And another drop-down list for this cell here. In these two cells, we want to choose the two players that are playing this particular match. It's going to be another drop-down list, but first, we need to build a formula to determine which players still remain in the competition. Let's build the formula up here. Start with the ifs function. If E2 is equal to round one, then we need to filter the appropriate table. We want to bring back the player's names, but only include the male players. Close the brackets for the filter function, type a comma, back inside the ifs function and then repeat the same logical test. If we're entering the score for a round two match, then this formula will filter the names from the round two table and only include the male players. In this cell down here, we need the same formula to bring back the female players. Now, after all of that, we can finally build our drop-down list. Select these two cells. On the Data tab, click on data validation. We need a basic if statement. If this cell here is equal to men, then the drop-down list should report to the first cell over here. And because that cell is part of an array formula, meaning there could be multiple rows, we can use the hash symbol to capture 
all the results. And if that cell is not equal to men, we want to return the list starting in this cell here. Let's give our formula a little test. If we choose women, our drop down is working. After we enter the score for each set, we need the total at the end to update automatically. We can do that by adding a few if statements together. If this cell is greater than this cell, then the value is one. Plus, if this cell is greater than this cell, then the value is one. And keep adding one to the total if it's greater than the opponent. And whilst we're here, we can build the formula for the second player. Enter the score for the other sets. Now that we have a winner, we need to add their name to the next round. We can use a VBA macro for that. On the developer tab, click this button to open the Visual Basic editor. Copy and paste the code in here. Let's have a quick look at our macro. Essentially, this script will look at the final score, determine which player is the winner, then we have a pop-up box for us to confirm the score. If we choose yes, the macro will jump down here and determine which table to add the winning player to. And then down here, add the winning player to the next round and remove the loser and the winner from the current round of players. That way, when we choose from our drop down list, we're always choosing from eligible players from that particular round. And then finally, reset all the variables ready for us to select the players for the next match. Back in our worksheet. First, we need to assign the macro to the button. Before we click on the button, let's see exactly what will happen. After comparing the scores, the winning player will be added to the next round. We just need this cell here to point to the round two table. this one to point to the round three table. After all of that, now can we play some tennis? Click on this update button. Enter some scores for round one. Hit that update button. And when we change this to round two, we can only choose from those that have made it through. 